Hi everybody. So what you're looking at here is the pillbox I use. So what these are is Monday a.m. p.m. And then it goes all the way over to Sunday a.m. and p.m. So this picker box is good when your medicine is taken every 12 hours. That is in the morning and at night. What this does and what this box represents is the ability to avoid taking prescriptions twice. What I mean by that is not taking a second dose. Like if, if, the, if the little spot's empty, then I know I've had them. So I fill this every Sunday evening, which is what I'm doing right now. And I thought I'd talk while I film this. So what I normally start with is there's some supplements I take. Um, so I'm not used to it, the camera like this. So this is chondroitin sulfate. Um, this is for, it's a type of cartilage damage. And there is medical evidence for, for the use of this if you're in a sweet spot. And I understand that not all of you are gonna be suffering with arthritis. Um, but it's one of the supplements that I take and I think it's working, but this particular one is very slow and gradual. And, but there's medical evidence for it. There is a different one, it's called glucosamine with chondroitin. Um, that's the better grade one. Uh, the next supplement that I use is magnesium biglycerate. That may, might have been out of focus, and if it was, I apologize. So this is for muscle pain. And you know, people with construction jobs genuinely could use this if they start getting sore at the end of the day in their muscles. What I've been doing is taking one every morning and then I have to alternate um, two or three at night to avoid uh, diarrhea. So magnesium does work. Um, it's not gonna work for everybody, but it is something that has, I mean, it's been, it's been wonderful for me specifically. And I would expect in general terms for people in wheelchairs and muscle type injuries. I mean, certainly the pros outweigh the cons in trying in consultation with your doctor. Uh, the next one I use is omega-3. So this is the same healthy fish oil. What I'm taking it for is arthritis uh, reactions in my, my joints. And it is being helpful. Um, I wouldn't go without it. I mean, I would probably try every six months to not use it for a few days after speaking with a doctor to make sure it's still being helpful. But generally this is working. And what the doctor's office has done, you can see on here, is that it's a 1200 gram capsule. The doctor's office looked up and worked out what was a safe dose per day, starting at one, adding a second one, just making sure it was for me. And if it wasn't work, the, the plan was to take it for a week. If it wasn't doing anything, stop. Um, and then the last one is the medications I use for pain. So pain is really personal and telling you what I use, I honestly don't think that that's helpful to you because there's just so many reasons a person could have pain and you need to have medications that match your specific needs. The one thing I think it's worth saying is that the pink capsules that I just put in there are the same as these white capsules and I find that I need just a little bit more in the evening and 
that's just from the day's activities so I can sleep better at night. And you have to be willing to try for about two weeks and talk about this and see how it goes. Um, the last one is for soft tissue pains. Um, and I take it at night. And it's the 24 hour pill. Um, there's a lot of medications that have been identified that treat both depression and epilepsy that help the nervous system for people who are experiencing chronic pain. So if a doctor did approach you and saying that they'd like you to try, there is, there's merit to trying and seeing. And you just set up as a test and see how it goes. So the last, um, and that's really all I was gonna say about that is to be having an open mind. I mean, I also have Tylenol here and Advil and they have their places. And under the right symptoms, I do use them. So I've got this closed up and then when Monday morning comes along, I push the little button and that's why I take in the morning. And then if I've, you know, if I dozed off again, it wasn't 100% sure if this is empty, well, it's been used. The final thing I want to mention is with this being in a box, I can put a Ziploc bag over top. And if I had to go to a medical appointment, anything that fell out would be in the Ziploc bag and not hurt a child. Some of these things in here are not for a child. So I would just mention that to you as a strategy. When I've gone for surgery, I've put this in a bag and then I've also put my name, phone number and address on the bag in case it got separated from me at the hospital so it would hopefully work its way back to me. So this is a strategy. It's a tool. I know it's not going to be for everyone who watches my videos, but for those who are struggling to keep track of medicines, consider this. There is an alternative. I don't have it with me, but there's pill bottles now where the motion of taking the lid off resets a timer. And what it shows you right on here is the number of hours since the bottle's been opened last. And that would be another safety net for you to double check if you're taking a second dose or not. Okay, there is some bubble packs or blister packs, depending on what word you want to use, that your pharmacist could prepare your medicines in if you're struggling or you're going to be on vacation. Normally a nurse gives it to you, but a family is going to give it to you. You could have it done in a bubble pack similar to this where the pharmacy would make it up and then a family would just hand you, you know, the spot for Sunday evening, for example. If you want to talk more about this, ask me in the comments. Thanks for your time together. Bye for now.